What's happening right now with Tesla? Let's see what's going on. Very interesting movement we have right here. Plus 15% since the price hit the $152 area. Very interesting. We had some supports right there. And we can clearly see that the bulls entered into the market around that area. Right now, it seems like we have some kind of resistance around this level. But we have to see. What do you think, Alvaro, about this? Yeah, I think the 176 area is strong enough to see a trend reversal. We'll see. Obviously, right now, it's too soon to tell because we didn't reach that area yet, but we are very close to it. So I would say, you know, look at the, the, the downturn that we've been experiencing. Even though we can cross that area, we have an even huge, uh, even huger, um, more huge resistance level, which is the 200 area. That's insane. You know, I don't think we're going to make a breakout right there. Yeah, that's a very strong level, as you mentioned. Uh, we also have this white line right here, this resistance level, very, very strong. So we have to see some breakouts to the upside, something like this. And then that key breakout, in my opinion, would be a very bullish signal. But if we don't see it, if we see something like a false breakout, or even if the price starts to go lower from here and we break some lower levels, be very, very careful because we could visit again the $100 area or around those levels, we will have some fight there. Yeah, always plan the different scenarios that are possible. Obviously, Tesla could go up to 200 perfectly. We, we saw it before two times, so it could happen the third one. And But also, we could see like uh, the, the downtrend that we've been experiencing continuing. So if that happens, obviously, you need to see the different support levels that we have. The, the first one is 157. The second one is 146. If that, if that is broken out, wow, we could go back to 100. Yeah, exactly. We would have other levels right there. Uh, we would have to analyze with more detail when the price reaches that area. But for now, uh, I would focus, you know, I would say to analyze the 15 minute chart to see with more detail what is going on exactly. And we can clearly see a lot of volatility right here. You know, it's like the price doesn't have a clear direction. You know, it's not definite yet. So we have right here kind of a trading channel, we could say. Uh, you can see some technical patterns also. But until we see something very clear as it happened with this breakout or with this rejection right here, I wouldn't say to buy or sell. In my opinion, this is just uh, applying technical analysis and following the price action for now. The strongest level is this one, 176. If we break that one, we could be talking about higher levels again. But if we start to see the price going lower, I think it won't bounce until we hit the previous area as support. Yeah, look at these areas. You know, right now you are you, you, the risk is too is way too high. You know, because in the past, yes, just a couple of days ago, it it it, re it reversed like huge. You know, huge, and we are talking about something like yeah, six percent, seven percent, minus seven percent. So right now it's too risky, in my opinion. Obviously, if you want to buy the stock, I w I would say one hundred sixty five is a best is the best area to buy at this particular area. But obviously, you need to take into consideration the fundamentals because uh, when you compare this uh, this this quarter, you know the, the first quarter of 2023, we've been seeing we, we saw like a net income of 2.52 billion. You know, uh, th the thing here is like the last year in 2022 Q1, the first quarter, uh, the the revenue was 3.31. You know, uh, so I, I think it's a clear downtrend, uh, and this is the the the, wor the worrisome thing that I'm, that I'm talking about. You know, because. If the data is 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 was every time every quarter in the end the stock cannot cannot go back to the new highs you know it cannot go to to that area maybe it could but in this particular uh, situation of the market with the high interest rates i don't see it happening exactly this as usual is just our opinion as you mentioned very very clear that always you have to follow your trading plan your own trading ideas let us know in the comment those what do you think will tesla go up will go down you are not trading Tesla, you don't want to analyze it you know, in case that you see some opportunities. Welcome to Trading HD. Have a trading plan, manage risk, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.